I'm Katrina, and this is Sew and Tear. And today we're going to talk about what happens when a quail hen gets old. So the quail and the chickens decided to make a whole bunch of noise when I started talking. <laughs> this is about them, so that's okay. So, um, I want to talk to you guys. <laughs> so I want to talk to you guys about what happens when a, when a hen, when a female quail gets old. And um, first you start to notice that, at least with mine, like I said, they, they were pretty old when I got them, and then they're now over a year older than that. So I'm gonna guess that they're around two plus years old. Um, so they're pretty old birds. Um, and I started with, uh, I started with five females and one male and that were all about that age. Um, one of them I've lost, I think it was just old age died. Um, another, and then um, one of them earlier on, um, I lost I think to a heart attack because the cat was trying to get it on the outside. So that's why I have all this, all this um, shade cloth up and I'll, I'll put a link here to the video about that. <laughs> so I have, probably th I have three old old ladies in here and you'll see them in my videos and um, so far I've been able to tell you they're old when I see them so hopefully people are, are okay with that um, but what has happened is the last time they molted they did not regain all of their feathers so you know I've tried you know adding protein and all that and it's just an old age thing so they don't regain all of the, fe the feathers. I'm having one lady starting to have trouble walking, um, and that's just something that I, that's just something that um, I'm watching. She still appears to be enjoying life. I have no idea if she's laying an egg or not at this point. I don't get the number of number of hens do not equal the number of eggs in here. Um, but again, I know I have old ones in here, so. Um, I will be processing them uh, in the next couple, well, I'll be processing the older ones probably in the next month or so, um, just because they, their product productivity is either really low or gone, and then also, um, you know, they might be starting to suffer with, I, like I said, one has a leg problems. Um, when they have when they have molts and they don't recover from that and they just have like a bare back that Doesn't seem to bother them as far as I know um, I mean they might be a little colder, but they still cuddle they cuddle with everybody um, it, it doesn't seem to have a noticeable effect on on You know their activities or movements or any of that so um, that is something to note something that I wanted to mention is so see how this egg is super super all brown it's dark um, I just have an, another example this is not not from the same one but this is what they used to look like um, so regular you know quail egg with the splotches and one of my old ladies now has this um, it was a progression over uh, maybe two or three months it would start to have a little bit of that brown just cap on the top of the egg and then it started to just kind of cover the whole thing and I thought that was an interesting thing it was just something to know it was just one egg there wasn't anything to be concerned about um, but what I found is that if you know if they're laid and I eat them you know that day or the next day um, that's fine but the air sac was a lot lower and it, and it became lower as so that there's a bigger air sac in here and, it, and that increased as the progression of this egg um, turning brown over time happened progression meaning each day the egg got a little more brown um, so what I noticed is that these are much more porous so any egg that has a large brown area like this and it, it's, it's a different texture too it's a little rough um, that's a more porous portion of the egg. So those ones, like, I wouldn't incubate them. I wouldn't incubate this for sure. Um, and I wouldn't sell this. So I, I might eat it. Often I'll just squish these and have the girls eat them. Or, like, if I make the animals scrambled eggs, I do the, the eggshell and everything, I'll throw this in there. But um, it's going to be 
uh, number one, it's going to be very little egg per uh, egg material per per egg. And then two is it's going to dry out. It's going to dehydrate very quickly. So if you leave it out on the counter for a couple days, it's it's moisture content goes down dramatically. So that's something to pay attention to these. Um, let me see if I can find the old lady I was, I was talking about. I'm not gonna pick her up. I don't need to harass her for this, for a video. But I wanna see you kind of, I want you to see kind of what I'm talking about with the age. Where are you, lady? Well, she was in a sand bath. I don't know where she is now. She's eating. Oh, she saw me coming. <laughs> so there she is. And you can see that her back is, is pretty bare. Um, and that's not from overbreeding. That's, that's just from age. Um, and she gets around okay. You can see she's starting to limp. And that's the concern that I have. Um, and she is starting to have a leg issue, but she is super old. Just call her grandma. Um, she is still getting bread, but like I said, I think I'm going to process her and the other older adults, um, fairly soon. So here she is. She still pecks back at, at, at the ones that are bothering her. She still pushes her way into the, into the dust bath and pushing everybody out. So they do, they do interact with her as if she's a, you know, she's an adult that knows, knows what she's doing. Um, she'll cuddle with the, with other ones. See, there's another older one right there. Um, same issues. Not doesn't have leg issues yet, but um, so yeah, she's doing all right. Her life is is okay, but she is starting to have leg issues. So I I am going to process her. So like I said, I don't actually know how old she is. I know she's at least two years old. Um, well, she's probably closer to two and a half years old. Um, and so she's definitely older. And, and the other two ladies that are the old ladies in here are older. And like I said, I already lost one, I believe, to old age. That was a couple months ago. And then um, overall, they have good life. Still dust bathe in the, in the sandbox. Still dust bathe in the wood chips. Um, still cuddle with everybody else and she, st she still um, does everything that, that she needs to do. It's just that I've been noticing that she's started to have that limp and swelling in the legs. So um, I believe it's due to old age and the things that come with that. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to let you guys know that. I know a lot of people switch out their birds um, every year or every six months and I think that every year is a good good idea to switch them out um, just for their fertility and um, their viability and just um, you know if they get if they get to this age and that's fine and they'll still be pr productive to a point but um, at some point they're not going to be productive anymore and if, you, if they're pets then that's fine let them be pets um, but if they are production animals then 
um, start thinking about uh, replacing them. So anyway, I hope you found this useful. And again, this, this egg uh, experience was very interesting for me because it, it progressed over time um, into an egg that is basically uh, not well, it's not sellable for me, and I would eat it, but um, I haven't been because I have other eggs, and, um, and they dehydrate so quickly. So, uh, anyway, I hope you find this useful, and if you enjoyed this, please subscribe and like the, vi like the video, and pass along to someone else who would like it. Thank you.